So let's welcome Mr. Clay Clark to Broken Arrow. Can you hear me all right? Can you hear me? Okay. I want to introduce you to this concept of ongoing education. What I found is that through learning from mentors, it's kind of a pain-free way to learn. So I'm going to give you some examples of, of how not to do it today, and then uh, I'll give you a few solutions and some few, a few tips. I used to drive a 1989 uh, Ford Escort. That was my first vehicle. When I started my first business, you know, that was my vehicle. Uh, by show of hands, who here has been to Walt Disney World before? Okay. And uh, uh, not the DMV in this town, but other towns. Who's been to a DMV that wasn't awesome? Not in this town, but a different town. <laughs> and he was a builder who got fired from his job. He's 54 years old. See, what do you need to do to become successful? Well, I need to learn sales. I need to learn how to get to the top of Google. And I need to learn how to fire or hire the right people. We're talking 40, 50 Gs a week of new business just by learning one new skill, growth mindset. You know, but sitting there talking to his wife about every week, like, well, the economy sucks, obviously. <laughs> but I think about how many of us, when I was in business starting out, I was not over delivering. I would charge you $500 for your wedding for our, the DJ service. And just so you guys know, before I sold the DJ company, we did about 4,000 weddings a year, 80 a weekend before I sold it, okay? But for the first two years, I was terrible. So if I did, I'll pick on you. If I did your wedding, what I would do is I'd say I'd be there at 6, and like at 5.59, I'm like, I'm in. So then I learned this little idea of over-delivering, okay? Napoleon Hill wrote this in his book, Think and Grow Rich. It's phenomenal, okay? The bride. Imagine you're the bride and all your other vendors are late, but who's there first? Yeah. What are you doing? I'm here early. Why? I'm over-delivering. <laughs> to me, learning has always been a chore, so I don't want to do it, so I schedule a time. So I'm asking you, when are you going to do it? Everybody here can achieve success if you'll just decide today to plot it on the map and say, I want to be these guys. I want to go from where I am to where I want to be. My name is Michelle Carpenter. I own Epic Salon at 81st and Elmer Broken Arrow. And I learned that I need to schedule time out to learn more and to learn more about the business end of, of my salon business. Okay, my name's Gabe Sherman. I'm with Friends of Jim Bridenstine. And today, I think, I think probably the most important thing Clay got across to me is, is the point about surrounding yourself, um, not only with the right people, but having the right mindset when you put yourself around those people. Um, you gotta have, you gotta be humble enough to know that there are people smarter than you and, and be willing to accept that opportunity to, to serve under their mentorship. And then you also gotta have your mind right. And that's something that I, I love about what Clay does is he's always talking about your frame of mind, the way that you think. Um, if more people thought the way uh, that Clay coaches you to, they'd be a lot more successful people in meetings like this. Well, my name is Ryan Falani, and I work for Moody Jewelry here in Broken Arrow. Everything has a, an impact, and I'll take something back with me and apply it back in our store and the way of thinking, and I'm successful.